Now, some of you ask me this question here. What is the best thing to use or what you prefer? The slamming down or the two leg takedown? What's, the, what's good to be used uh, on it? Now, it's very difficult depend on what you're doing, isn't it? is definitely situation dependent yeah uh, over all of the different things we've spoken about this one even more so more so onto the different situations say for example if i'm going to do two legs i want to using the whole body and the try and then i will do this movement here okay like two legs then i can able to use it but to using the the slam you need to be in close range yeah. you need to be here first Okay, and the leg positioning. So if you leg like this, if you leg like this already, it's gonna be very difficult to uh, to able to to slam him down. So to, to using that, you gotta leaning and then you you bring him to where you want him. Okay, so it's but you're in a grappling range. Both of them gotta be in a grappling range For sure. to yeah. be able to use it. So you basically have to be in this kind of grappling uh, movement here, grappling range or clinch range like this. Yeah. Now to do the two legs from here, you have to be able to try your two legs from here. Okay. So which one you prefer to use? But difficult to prefer to use because which one you you thinking uh, the, I think the best from a use? safety perspective, the slam is probably better. Mm. The two leg can be very unexpected for people, um, but you've got to be real shit hot with it so that you don't end up falling over yourself. Yeah, That's because right. it's quite difficult, didn't it? Because yeah. soon you come in, you're punching like this, That's and right. then if you come in, you take that, that. It's, yeah. it's, so if you can get in, then it's easier. Enough, yeah. Then maybe. But if, if your technique is off and stuff, ideally you've got to get close enough so you can clasp your hands That's together, it. otherwise you can't pick them up. And So on, 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 a, on a tool like takedown, you need to be able to have both hands on it, because if you don't, then it's, it, it, it's it, like this, it's not going to work. Yeah, it's not going to work. Well, so you've got to be up. pick it up and then slap. Boom down like this okay so it's again depend on the situation that's it and so, obviously using the two leg or double leg in the street is different to a double leg in competition that's right you, you're moving around you just yeah, move totally forward isn't it? you're not in that competition, line competition i can come down with you in that's the street it. i don't want to fall over too that's right because in the in here you've got map okay so sometimes when you come down with it it's okay but in the street you don't want your face no. onto the concrete no, you drive someone into the ground and concrete you smash your shoulder up or if they move and you land head first then you're out yeah, before they do <laughs> you lose so. big problem slamming now when i do the slamming side want to get into a length first again the positioning okay get you to position first before you get your leg in like that to a ball to offset and then bring him down okay now when you bring him down again positioning it's got to be good but if you're off if you're up positioning here, that become the shit here as well, didn't it? Of course. So yeah. for instance, uh, so when you came in here, if it's not yeah, good positioning, it's wrong. yeah, it's no good, is it? Nothing it's, happened. It did, nothing happened. So it's so you've got to be able to use your legs like, as well. Turn, boom, and that's quick. This kind of movement it can be very useful for the street side because when it's setting down the floor, you still got more control over it. You're in a better control position. Yeah. I find with a double leg, again, depending on your opponent, but quite often you may end up in their guard or something mm. between their legs, which is a little bit riskier potentially in the street and stuff. Whereas at least if I can turn you, put you here, your whole body is... That's right. Way. So if you're doing the, 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 like the top of leg one, we're coming in, sometimes yeah. you're down, see? Now, uh, now it's been grabbing here. Now become, now you've got my neck as well. Now, now become a little bit of a problem for you. Okay. So, Hmm. I mean, I'm it's, theoretically still at a disadvantage on the bottom. That's it. But I've got more choice or more options than I would have from the other one. So for you to have a choice, one off, which one are you going to be using? I'll take the slam, I think. You take the slam? Around. Competition, I'll mm. take the double leg. But in the street, I'll take the slam. Step right. Step out to the side. And it's easier? Safer, easier. And which one is you going to use more effective? Now, each one of them, again, it's not that easy to make it work. You know, it's not that easy to make it work, you know? If we're coming in and he want to slam, he don't want let me, 
Okay, it's, I'm not gonna able to, I'm not gonna able to do it. Okay, because he don't let me. So to make it work, to make this movement work, you need to do a lot of bits and pieces. Yeah, lots of training. You got to distract him. A lot of different bit before you can able to using that technique itself. Because not straightforward that you're coming in and then you can able to no. slam people down. No. It's not that straightforward. So the thing you're going to train on is a lot of this the learn uh, distraction, line, and then a lot of leg, a lot of movement. Okay, and a lot of control as well. Mm -hmm. Because if you don't have enough, like, uh, like for instance, this line come, so I already attack him, so I distract him, yeah, distract him. When I came in, I already give him a little bit of pressure here, okay, to don't get his body straight, and then I upset his body here. So it's easy for me to now bring him down, and then I in a good position here to do what I want to do with him. So it's a lot, a lot of small thing you have to think about when you get inside because it's not that straightforward and secondly if i'm here and then he be chopping body to me chop the body into me now i can't try to because he's low i'm high okay and he's using a lot of his shoulder to to this uh, to basically upset me okay so it's not that straightforward okay to work but when you're understanding it then you have to make sure you keep that low a little bit so when he turn his shoulder toward me, it's a little bit difficult. If I'm here, it's easy, see? But I'm job, it's a bit harder. So now I have to use three basic rules. Control, hip, body lean, and then bring him in the places. Okay, like that. It looks that, uh, it looks quite easy, but it's not it quite easy. It looks simple, but it ain't in reality. When your opponent doesn't want you to get there, there's a lot of other steps. This is why you'd rarely see nice, clean, sweet takedowns in UFC. That's you right. You do see them, of course, but or often that's when the timing is perfect. Yeah, yeah. Otherwise it's scrappy, scrappy, and then they'll eventually get to something. Yeah. You know, the opponent struggle, struggle, and then they'll go down. Yeah. the movement. So the So it's that not straightforward, but the two leg take down even fucking harder. Yeah. Um, so, position. so if I gonna go in now, try to get in, and if he chop his body like this already, I can't get the movement. Then it's very difficult for me to drive him up. Okay. So it's it's quite hard. It's, it's not yeah. that straightforward. You think, but sometimes when you understand uh, using this, and especially in street, I'm talking about your head, your head first. <clears throat> so, so when you give him disadvantage, and then drive again. Yeah, you're driving both. Movement coming in. You drive one, two, yeah. coming in. You gotta drive that. You shot. drive the whole body because if you don't, if you go here and I try to grab him here, it's not gonna happen. You see, his body here, it's not gonna happen. Okay, That's so before we use it's not. Stuff. Yeah, not. Mm, it's not even him using any body control. Uh, like when he here, he's not even using any bit manipulation because imagine I'm here both hand. I haven't got a hand, so he's gonna crack my face. It's so many different things. Okay, to able to use him. But when you can make this movement work, it's a fucking beautiful tool. Yeah, if you can get in. Um, but again, like any technique, just drilling it over and over again. Two, you don't have to think. When you're thinking and like, oh, when can I go on this mm. movement? When it's at that point, it's very, very difficult. Once you can, once you get to a point where your body just reacts to things, then you might have more of a chance. So then to work them. So again, it's hard as you do think, but it is need more time, like anything we do, okay? Look simple, because sometimes when you see uh, when we come in and then we go like this, and then we come up, yeah? And it work like that. It's not really work like that all the time, because you gotta see the person, they always turn around and say, oh, if I'm here, he do that, I gonna do this, I gonna do this. Of course, they're not gonna stand there for you to try to do the technique down, okay? So remember that on everything we do, because this is to give you the idea of the training, to get you the, the, the movement of learning. But yeah, if you I, have to learn it. Yeah, because if you don't, so you if you, it. say for example, if I don't get an idea of how I take him down first, like I'm learning, see, it's so many things. My shoulder got coming in, lift him slightly, so I can pick, okay, like this, or I can go like this, okay, I have to be to able to do this first. But if I go in here, I try to pick him and jump me now, I never got a jump to able to do anything. No, you'll okay? never get the right technique. So you never get the right technique. If you never get the right technique, you never got a time to train. So this is a big problem when you're learning. You're learning, you need to learn, like the takedown of the slam. I'm getting in here. I gotta get in a good position first 
to get myself understand how to slam him, how I do it first, okay? I need to know, okay? I know that I'm in a good position first. So you're learning, you're learning first, and then you're gonna press the test it. That's right, yeah. You you put it into spa. Yeah, so like then that. you're making work, and sometimes it work, and some don't, so you remember that when you do them. And second thing is, especially uh, top of like takedown, it's, 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 you can't control them, like this coming in, okay? You got to drive everything in to do the movement. It's not as straightforward to do it, okay? So more practice, more in line, then you'll get used to control, get used the idea where everything is, where everything are, where everything turn, and know where your body is. Full control so your partner don't get hurt, you got a chance. And the worst thing of all, I need to mention so you know, this kind of thing, being in the street, if he don't know how to fall, you see his head, see his head straight down there, and that's it. That's it, he's gone. So the worst thing is you need to understand is it's a lot of dangers behind it when you start to practice. And when you use it in the street, if something happened, he's freaking finished. Yeah, you get your head slammed into the concrete, it's all over. You're not gonna wake up ever again. So training is need to understanding what you need to train on and need to be good. So which one do you like to prefer? I'll take the slam this time around. Competition, I'll take the double leg, but street for self-defense, gotta be the slam. I think so. In the street, definitely a slam because I got more control. Yes. Yeah. yeah. I got it's more. Safer for you. And it's safer. For the last, see, it's safer for me if they want to do the slam. I can do it up to the top, or can do the body. Okay. So I can do it by control here, or I can do it by control here. Control here, I can do like this. Control here, I do it like this. It's nothing really changed. So it's more safer for me when I ping him down the ground. And because when I ping him down the ground, I on a one size. Okay. So that's a different. Because if the, you could remember, yeah? If I'm here, I ping him down, I'm here, I'm on the side. I got more chance about control here. But the, the, if I get him into the, the, the two leg, and I come in here, and he grab me now, if he pull me, okay, pull me down, it's now, it's gonna be nightmare. Yeah. Okay, it's gonna be a nightmare for me. I could be down here, typical get up, with my back not flexible enough, my body not flexible enough, yeah. It could be a nightmare, okay? Yeah, without taking your legs and stuff. And that, not, yeah, not yeah. even wrapping in, grabbing in, everything else. So, I think this one, I could make my mind up. Finally, you're gonna yeah. make your mind up. Actually I'm gonna up. take one only. <laughs> I'm gonna show the slam, because slam with more control. Yeah, definitely. I definitely chose the slam, this one. So which one you prefer? Which one do you like to do? But remember, all this we're doing here to give you the idea, is so much thing need to be learned to be able to make all this movement in become reality and become practice uh, for real. Because all this movement here is so many layer on each of them to helping you to learn. Because if otherwise, it's gonna be a nightmare. You won't be able to do it if you don't practice the technique and get control first, okay? This is important. So, make sure you comment below here. Tell me which one you like and why you like them and why you're using them, okay? And then I will do whatever you need, put it in there to help you. And you know, we have training course for you as well to go through all the bits that you need to help you to get whatever you want to be, to become the martial artist. Like Pete Master said, not partial artist. That become a nightmare, okay? So some of you haven't subscribed to me yet, make sure to subscribe to me before you... Enemy do. Otherwise, your enemy slapped you down the ground and your head hit the floor and you become the garbage like this. It's gonna be a nightmare. No more sucking ever again. Finish. Out! This library place is quite good, you know. Have some book here, some nice stuff in. Give us your money. I haven't got one. Money. Man. Only got a book. I don't care about your book. Here, have some money. money. Yeah. 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 This is the big problem. You come out from here and then somebody attacking you. You only got one thing in your hand. So what do you do? Let me run through this scenario with you. So I'm here. 